Hey guys, Script Trooper here with another video, and in light of the controversy over this, this, that we talked about yesterday, um, where if you watch my video, like, I, I think I give a pretty reasonable response. The part about it for me that's the biggest thing is that it's just dumb. Somebody mentioned on Twitter, and, and I reiterated in my video that this person is a clone, so they spent their entire life on Camino, so this person wouldn't know or wouldn't think that long hair I, would would help identify them as a, as a woman. They would have no idea. They're with Kiminoans, which are those skinny or whatever, those giraffe neck looking creatures, aliens, and then it was just all dudes. So why would you think that that would be what you would do in universe, right? It doesn't make sense. And then, of course, the, the trans flag colors, again, in universe, that doesn't make any sense because this is Star Wars in a galaxy far, far away. This is not Earth in 2024. So somebody clearly did this purposefully and then took it way too far. Here's the bottom line. I, I personally don't care. I don't care really that much about some random clone trooper. Um, and I will say at least it's a different character. They didn't appropriate an existing character, which is good because they tend to do that. They they tend to be kind of, uh, kind of like a virulent level of activist. And so they take something that's existed for however long generations and then turn, turn that character LGBTQ. And it's like, dude, that's, don't do that. Like, just make somebody new. The other thing I also learned about this is that in this book, in this clone trooper book thing that it discusses this, which is in another book, uh, which I mentioned in my video, but it says that the book is for kids. And there was a lot of people today saying that they were not happy with that. As a parent, um, I, I don't want this being an issue with my kids. Like, I don't want them being told that they might be in the wrong body. I think they got enough to worry about. I think they got enough stuff to learn about the world and about life that I don't need them thinking they might be in the wrong body, you know, and I, I don't think that's healthy for them. I don't care if, if if an adult wants to do whatever. That's my stance. I, I don't hate you. Do whatever you want. I'm not I'm not here to tell you what to do. And so, yeah, saying this is a book for kids, I could see why that would kind of tick people off um, to some degree. Because then their kid's going to come up to them, hey, what, maybe their kid has no idea about any of this stuff. And then they're going to come up to them and say, hey, what, what does this mean? You, you, you can be in the wrong body or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I can see why people would be upset about that. Having said that, this garnered a lot more outrage than I think it probably needed to. It's stupid. Like I said, like I, like I said earlier, there's certain reasons. But people forget that this has been going on for a while. It's actually worse than people realize. Like, this happened, guys. This happened, and somehow it kind of, it flew under the radar. Um, I think it was discussed on Twitter. I can't really remember. This is like a year and a half ago. This is an existing character that clearly showed no signs of anything other than being interested in Leia at first until he realized she was his sister. And in the EU, obviously, gets married, has kids. Um, there's no possible way that George wrote him as a, as a LGBTQ. So this is where, to me, it takes a, goes to the extreme. What we, what we saw yesterday and the outrage over that again to me was overblown. But at least it was the it's 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 she's her own individual character that they made up. Taking an existing character and flipping them that way to me is totally wrong. You can't do that. You can't. It'd be it'd be like turning a character in Lord of the Rings into something they never were. That to me is really wrong. Star Wars leans toward exploring Luke Skywalker's LGBTQ identity. This happened a year and a half ago, guys. He's been making changes to George Lucas's original creation for over a decade now. These changes have included updates to the character storylines and themes of the Galactic Saga universe. In recent years, there's been a push to include more diversity and representation in the franchise, including discussions about the potential for LGBTQ plus representation among the characters. New characters. Write new characters. Don't make it among the existing characters. Recently, a controversy emerged regarding adding preferred pronouns to all Star Wars characters on Wikipedia. Some felt that this was unnecessary and went against the original state of the space opera. Of course it does. Others thought it was an important step towards creating a more inclusive and diverse space. Again, if it's for kids, though, like, you know what I mean? What does that mean? Why, why, why is that person I, uh, they, that, what does that mean? Like, you're, 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 you're foisting topics that are way too advanced on kids when you do that. That would be my problem with it. You know, kids watch Star Wars, kids go on Wikipedia. As far as me, like as an adult, I don't care. I think it's kind of corny, but I don't really care. <laughs> it's, 
It's kind of lame, right? It's lame, but I don't really care. I just, but again, for, for little kids, it just it makes them question things and deal with issues that I don't think they, they need to be at that age. Um, the representation of Luke Skywalker in the Star Wars universe. One character that has been the focus of discussions about LGBTQ representation is Luke Skywalker. Yes, folks. Somehow this didn't get the attention that it probably <laughs> would today. In a 2022, in June, excuse me, of 2022, a short story was published in Stories of the Jedi in Sith, in which Luke Skywalker was depicted as being a tr attracted to a man. <laughs> this story is now part of Disney's Star Wars canon. So he's bi. They made him bi. Right? Because we know he's attracted to Leia at first. They made him bi, guys. Luke Skywalker, in canon, is bi. <laughs> like, <laughs> and again, I don't know how this flew under the radar. But they have to they have to appropriate him because he's the most popular character. It's not it's not okay that he's not one of them and he's the most popular character. They have to have the most popular character being one of them. And that's really weird. And and sad and dumb and all those things you can you can you can use any words you want to use. Very disappointing. Now, having said that, I can't find I was really trying hard to find this morning um, the the actual pages. I was hoping somebody might have um, taken a photocopy or taken a picture of them and posted them online. I can't find them from this book, Stories of the Jedi and Sith. If you can, I would love it if you would shoot me a DM on Twitter or put something in the comment section for me here. Um, so I could get a hold of it because I don't want to misrepresent. Like, I don't know if the person writing this article is 100% correct on that. But, it, I mean, it, it'd be pretty tough to to misinterpret that depicted as being attracted to a man. So I'm assume, I'm going to go with the assumption that this is correct. But again, if you can find it, I can't find it. I can find the book, obviously. I can find the, the picture of it and stuff. But I can't find anything from the inside of it, any pages. But this is insane. <laughs> like, to, to actually do this... Why would some... You'd have to be pretty vindictive, I think, and pretty, like, self-absorbed. Like, you know that people don't want that, but you just do it anyway because my representation. That's what it feels like. You know what I mean? That, it, it just it feels very passive-aggressively sort of violent in a, against the fans, kind of. Violence may be too strong of a word, but you know what I mean? Why would you do that? So, yeah, I guess technically in canon he's bi now. However, not everyone is on board with making Luke Skywalker part of the LGBTQ community. As this was a significant departure from George Lucas's original version of the character and the Galactic Saga universe, yeah, yep, Lucas never did that, so you don't get to. Just like with all this fooling around with Lord of the Rings and all these other, like you, you don't get to just change stuff that other people created. Go make your own thing. Go make an entire sci-fi fantasy that's nothing but LGBTQ. Go and do that. No one's stopping you. I'm sure you'd get money for it, wouldn't you? Or, or would you? Hmm. That's a good question, isn't it? Would enough people watch that to justify it? Because there's a lot of those LGBTQ people in Hollywood. A lot of them have a lot of money. How come they're not bankrolling something like that? That's a good question, isn't it? Funny. So they'll they'll allow some dumb author to change George or to change George Lucas's main character of Star Wars, uh, Luke Skywalker. They'll allow that, but they won't put their money where their mouth is and do a whole thing about it. Go ahead. Do it. Why don't they? Right? That's the question. Why don't they? I think we know what the answer is. <laughs> right? But, you know, it's, it's kind of interesting, isn't it? It's kind of kind of cowardly, too, I would say. They argue that Skywalker was never intended to be gay, bisexual, or a member of the community, and that this representation is a modern-day identity politics being imposed on the universe. Well, of course it is. Of course, they, they know it is. That's why they're doing it. Others, however, believe that such a representation is essential to creating a more inclusive and diverse universe. Writer Sam Maggs, hired by Disney Star Wars, openly admits to including queer characters in her work as part of her mission to promote LGBTQ plus representation in the media. But you can do that without taking something that was already created, though. So again, it's very, it's very pushy and vitriolic. You could just make something new. Like I said, at least that other character, as silly as, as, it, as it is, because when you do the math on it, it doesn't make any sense, at least it's an original character. It's not taking somebody else. So you got to at least give them that. But this is just cowardly. 
So she definitely is one of the authors of the book. So there's there's receipts there. Interesting. Another Canadian. Huh. The author of the book that had the that had this character in it is also Canadian. Editor of Abrams Media Site, Geeko Steam, which was eventually consolidated into the feminist leaning geek culture commentary site, The Mary Sue. Ah This is why I do this in my videos, guys, to give you an idea of the connections, right? While at the Mary Sue, Mag sold her first book, The Fangirl's Guide to the Galaxy, to Quirk Books. The Fangirl's Guide to the Galaxy was published in 2015. A second edition titled The Fangirl's Guide to the Universe and featuring updated text and new illustrations was released in 2020. It's going to be corny. I can already see. Fandom. Man, my internet's slow. Fandom, pop culture, feminism, cosplays, cons, books, memes, podcasts, vlogs, blah, 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 blah. There's never been a better time to be a fangirl or a better guide to navigate the wide universe of fandoms. This handbook is packed with tips, playthroughs, and cheat codes, including how to make nerdy friends, how to rock cosplay. Okay, so my take on this person, and this is one of the big problems with the, with fandom now, is... Star Wars used to be, generally speaking, it was probably the most mainstream nerd content, IP, whatever you want to say. So, But the vast majority of the people that, that were into Star Wars back in the day were nerds, or nerdy people. Um, obviously, again, like it was a little more mainstream, so there were some normies thrown in there. But what's happened with this IP and others is as as time has gone on and as they've expanded more and more and more into more and more mediums and stuff, people that never would have cared about it, never would have been into it, are, are getting into it. And then they're getting into it and wanting to change it into what they want it to be. I've mentioned this before on numerous videos, the Lego study, where they were trying to figure out how to, how to make Lego sets for girls. So they put... The Batman set in front of the boys. What do the boys do? They pretend to be Batman. They do the things the Batman does. Pretending to be him. They be the hero and they go around. They put the Batman set in front of the girls. What do they do? They start putting dresses on Batman. They start pretending that he's a girl. They start. They have him ride his bike around. They have, they have him going to get smoothies at the Friends set. <laughs> you know, the Friends Lego set. So they make things into what they want them to be. And the boys want to be that character so 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 it's the same thing with luke skywalker so the boy wants to be luke skywalker and pretend to be him and take his lightsaber and fight or who whatever character it is well the girl wants luke skywalker to be like them so sam mags who i'm guessing is probably part of the community mags is openly <laughs> there you go right just like the last author just like the one that did the the clone trooper, which again, at least it's their own character. She's openly lesbian and dedicates herself to including queer representation in her writing. Prior to 2022, she was openly bi, so she just decided to not be bi anymore. How does that even work? Like, I, I all I'm ever told is how this is like a natural genetic thing, but that doesn't seem like it when you're see it's and I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to pick on her, but it's like, would you really be a fan? I don't know, maybe. But see how she inserted her thing onto Luke. So is there a connection now? Is there a connection between the amount of women? Because again, the, the Lego set. I'm not trying to be, you know, mean or anything. But you have the writers group, which is a lot of women. You have you have Kathleen Kennedy hired a ton of them for Lucasfilm. And we're seeing them insert things into Star Wars and into Lucasfilm stuff that represents them instead of the IP itself and the overarching universe that was already there and its messaging, which, of course, George Lucas said was timeless stories and themes that everyone has to deal with, whatever type of person you are. Everyone has to deal with temptations and right and wrong and friendships and how much they're going to care and how much what they're going to do. So they've changed it. People like her and uh, what was the other lady's name yesterday? I don't even remember who cares. Um, you know, these are people that 
are changing things into what they want them to be instead of going and making something else that they that they like. And that's the danger here. And that, I think that's ultimately what ticks people off, right? Is that you're you're trying to change something into what you want it to be. Well, if you didn't like it the way it was, why don't why don't you go do go do something else? Right? That's the way I look at it. But they don't do that. And that's where for me it's very adversarial, it's very sneaky, it's very disingenuous to say, oh, I love Star Wars. Oh, but I got to change it into what I want it to be. I, 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 that's, to me, really bad. So yeah, Luke's by guys. They argue that, yeah, he was never intended to be part of the community and his representation is modern-day identity politics. However, others, however, believe that such a representation is essential to creating a more inclusive and diverse universe. Again, if, if you if you write a different character, it's happened before. Like, I don't know. Writer Sam Maggs, hired by Disney Star Wars, okay, openly admits to including queer characters in her work as part of her mission. We already read that, to promote LGBT representation. It's her mission. Are they underrepresented? Or, like, if... I'm not going to go with the kids. Like, <laughs> Bill Maher put out this chart saying that, like, 35% of girls now in, in high school think they're part of the community... That's a phase for most of them. They're going to grow out of it. Let's say it's 2% of society. Let's say it's 3% of society. Are there not 3% of characters LGBTQ? Is it less than that? I mean, I'm not going to sit here and go through the numbers. Like, just, just hypothetically, do you think that it is more than that or less than that? Let's look in the last four years, since, since 2020. Would you say it's more than 3% or less than 3%? Characters and actors. Or, or, sorry, characters or actors. Are they both above 3%? Maybe. Creating new icons for the LGBTQ community is a better approach than changing the original icons for several re re reasons. Yes, thank you. Who is this author? They actually have their head on straight. Firstly, it allows for the creation of unique and diverse representations of the LGBTQ community. This can increase the community's visibility and representation and provide more opportunities for members to see themselves represented in the media and culture. Additionally, Creating new icons can help avoid controversy and backlash that comes with changing established characters. Um, but again, as I've been saying, that, that that's not what they're interested in. They're interested in changing things to make them what they want them to be. They, they don't actually like it the way it is. So they're, 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 Disney is hiring vitriolic activists that don't like Star Wars to change Star Wars into what they want it to be, essentially. New characters specifically designed to be LGBT plus allows for a more authentic representation by of the community rather than trying to retroactively impose an identity on a character that was not originally intended to be part of the community. And I don't think most gay people would want that. I think this this person saying she's an act she's a uh, helping the community. What does she say here? Yeah, pr promoting them. I don't think they want to be promoted this way. Let me know if you are uh, LGBTQ. Like, do you want? them changing Luke Skywalker into something he's not, does that appeal to you? I don't think it does. And that's why I say a lot of these people, like, real fans of Star Wars that are gay would not want that. I have no doubt in my mind they would not want anything to do with that. But fake fans that want to change it, like Sam Maggs, do. Because they're fake fans. Now, now there's always this debate on Twitter, oh, if real fans are fake. These, these are fake fans. If you didn't like it the way it was, you're a fake fan. So yeah, I don't think I don't think people, real people on, in the community want this. I think that they actually would be like, "What are you doing, you idiot? Write a new character. Why are you doing this, dummy?" Right? Adding uh, LGBTQ representation in the Star Wars universe by changing original characters is a polarizing issue that elicits strong emotions from fans. Some believe this representation is necessary to create a more inclusive and diverse universe, while others believe it goes against the original spirit of the franchise. Regardless of one's stance on the matter, it is essential to remember Star Wars is for everyone. It is a franchise that has been enjoyed by fans of all ages, backgrounds, and beliefs for decades. Exactly. So you didn't need to change Luke Skywalker. It's always been appealing to everybody. Yeah, so there you go, guys. He's uh, he's by in canon. That's what Disney's done. <laughs> so it's, again, it's just so funny to me. Dovetails off my video yesterday. Like, everyone was so mad about that. And it's like, wait, there's this, guys. <laughs> this is way worse <laughs> than that. Um, yeah, I'd love to hear from you guys. Let me know in the comment section what you think. If you like this uh, video, please like and subscribe. Always helps my channel. And feel free to check out anything else on my channel. Have yourselves a really good day.